Hello there everybody and welcome back to episode 9 of Rockhold the Gift of Shadow. Today we're going to continue building our city in the sand. I started in the previous episode with, well, being pragmatic with or lack of building space. As our below earth space is very very limited, I started digging out and constructing a city down below. We're going to continue that endeavor today, see where we're going to get ourselves and see where everything will go. In the meantime, the Forgotten Beast One is killing things down there. I mean, that thing has by now already a really long kill list alone here. 35 beings it has ended. Among these, a couple of cats among uh, that came from my fort. Well, sucks to be them, I guess. So we are going to start today also by chopping a couple extra trees. Just because I feel like in the long run we might be needing new logs. I also want to have a stockpile for logs now that our economy has pretty much grooved into all its needs and uh, such. So we're going to go for that as well. Our freshly founded uh, guild hall here is looking shiny and fancy as well. And well, we have now a lot of art going on here that was really darned fast done because we happen to have a high master engraver with a poor sense of aesthetics. I didn't make that up, that's on her character uh, sheet. <laughs> Anyways, what I came up with today, I wanted to check out whether or not we can expand the city into this direction as well. I'm very curious to find that out. Jeez, that monster down there keeps killing stuff. Day and night. So, yeah, just like I thought, we are a bit hindered by the mountain or the subterrain, I should rather say. But let's see how these things play out. We also had our first immigrants that came from the main cast of Sandwalls, so that's been also a very pleasant surprise to me. All right, well, let's see how we can continue here. So looks like there is uh, a road possible there. And as you see here, I'm working myself carefully alongside of the aquifer. There we go. Their whole business widens again. It's a very interesting thing to see how all that works out or not. So. What I want to do for today is getting down some services. I really don't like my city to have no services, so let's change something about that. First up, we need a tavern and a dining hall. We're going to set up the tavern over here. There we go. We obviously need to take down that at some point, those walls at some point, but for now, so, well, schist, that is chert. I did use schist for this one. It's a really nice looking floor, isn't it? Let's use that one more time. I really think I want to have a little bit of a color um, variation going on here as well. Okay, so we can easily perceive that Something like this might be a good, good choice. There we go. So unlike the expedition parlor, this part of the city is absolutely uh, organized and uh, no longer jingly, jaggly, craggly fun. But, well, I do like how this part of the city looks like as well. Okay. But here the expansions look like some real progress on my, on me. Okay, so we're going to delete now these walls. I like to put the floor down first and then you can clearly see where the walls are going to be. You see, that that is absolutely clear 
where I need the walls now. Without the floor, I often mix up things. I'm not sure anymore where things are supposed to go. I really like that method for this regard. Okay, we are going to need also, finally, chests and cabinets. So let's get that done. It's only a matter of time until we get a uh, mayor. We are at 53 people by now. This city is growing in at, at an insane speed. So we're going to need the rock cabinets. We are also going to require the rock weapon racks and the rock armor stands. Now then, what stone will I use? I think I'm gonna go with Gabro. Like that one. It's a clearly different colored stone. So let's make Gabro things here. Oh, whoopsie, I think I went here. Yeah, no. now it's all right. So we're, no, 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 no. We first need to select the stone, then the other things. So with the weapon racks, well, I'd love to, to, to use something, uh, something extravagant, but we don't have anything. <laughs> so we are just going to use slate in that regard. I think slate is also a really nice looking stone. So, at all times, I want three of these. That's enough. I think that should be doing the trick. We do need one thing, though, and that's a Gabbro stockpile and a Gabbro quarry. So we have now pretty much the stones together that we are using, as it seems. All right. So, let's see, where was the Gabbro at, huh? I mean, I must have found it somewhere. Claystone, Shale, Churd. So, where did I take my Gabbro from? Jeez. <laughs> This is one of the weirdest forts I've built in a while. Alright, here we have the huge chert quarry. No further questions. Chert, chert. Chert, chert. Sorry. And uh, there's the shale. And from that point on, we went deeper here. Chert, shale, playstone, schist. Leopold reminds me that I want to do some gem cutting. Schist. So yeah, we probably should do some some quarrying here again. So there we go. Low priority though. Low priority. So slate. Probably wanna queue up a few more of these as well. Slate. 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 Ah, deep, deep down below we got the Gabbro. Oh, I see. So, yeah, that is a little bit unsettling, but whatever. So, Gabbro quarry. So, our, our furniture comes from the depths of hell. Ooh, I mean, seriously. Ain't bad, although it it ain't literally the depths of hell. Just figuratively speaking. Snatchers! So now we can, for the very first time, check out how our defenses work. So for that end, we're now going to forbid the doors. So those brave goblins will now go inside. First, the first of them gets uh, smacked by a couple of stone traps. This fella avoided them. 
and this one, yeah, he uh, he got skull smacked. All right, Snowdoop Scum Torment. All right, oh 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 oh, that that that. Ooh. That doesn't look healthy. So yeah, Snowdoop. The spinning silt stones were no problem, but. Uh, Yeah, that's exactly what uh, what I think had happened. Yeah, that 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 bad boy here is uh, entirely mutilated. Yeah, they uh, they they didn't get that far. Nish, please dispose of this uh, poor creature. I mean, I think it'll die on its own after a while, but you see, ah, all right. So, gotta say. Our defense system so far worked out perfect. So the goblin thieves got eviscerated and worse, and we can just uh, pick up whatever was left there. Brilliant! I really like to see what, uh, how how well that went off. So brings me to the point where we can now bring up the boxes and a fresh hot tavern. Also, we have a new artifact in the making. Mm -hmm. Good things are happening. So, the Tin Cake. I love the name. So, Melville, the Tavern Keeper. I mean, he was pretty much on that job in the previous season. I think Melville will just do the same once more. So, let's see how the main cast has arrived. We have Melville, we have Nomal, we have Wool from the Sandwald's main cast. All right. Apart from that, a lot of new people have arrived. We have really a huge entourage of people in that short amount of time. So, Zazit, the gem cutter. I think you, Zazit, will be the new person that we're going to spend our spotlight on. He is impervious to the effects of stress. Wait a sec. Uh, he's gathering items. Good. I just wanted to check whether or not my uh, artifact is well on. He is not a private person and freely shares details of his life. He often feels discouraged. He tends to be swayed by the emotions of others and he doesn't focus on material goods. He does not go out of his way to help others and he likes to keep things practical without delving too deeply into the abstract. He has little interest in joking around and he can occasionally lose focus on the matter at hand. He is generally quite confident of his abilities when undertaking specific ventures. He's quite ambitious and he likes a little excitement now and then. He's quick to anger and he doesn't often feel envious of others. He laughs in a unique way whenever he's annoyed. He drums his fingers when he's trying to remember anything, uh, something. All right. Zazit likes tin glaze, fine pewter, dendritic agate, canoff fabric, thrones, and chains. When possible, he prefers to consume giant lorry keyed and dwarven beer. He absolutely detests box scorpions. That's the second one that detests box scorpions, if I remember correctly. What's wrong with these? What, uh... Did they have a, uh, a scorpion problem in Sand Falls I didn't know about? Anyways, Enod has begun the mysterious construction. That is a very fine thing. And a Minotaur has come. All right, our defense systems are being put to the test big time today. Okay. So, the Minotaur should be not able to breach through this, I hope. If so, we're in trouble because Nish, well, all right, we'll see how Nish will deal with that and after about the rest of the city. But what I want to do now is I want to create a burrow because I I, I really flood fill with double click. Hell yeah! Brilliance. Uh, okay, so we're going to go here and uh, we're, uh, wasn't there a assign old civilians thing? So, all. Can we check mark them all? So, ah, yeah, here, all civilians. That's what we had before. Okay, and now 
suspend this burrow. Assigned will not respect burrow restrictions. There. So now everybody should be going inside until this uh, situation has resolved. All right, Larva, Lava Ranch, the Stern Inferno. So he's incredibly brave. All right, he has six kills, goblins and elves mostly. All right, let's see how he'll fare. He smacked my cat. That was uh, foreseeable, but uh, very rude at the same time. So, turns out, this guy is able to ignore doors and destroy them. Is that the case? Or is he just trying to pass through the doors? That is uh, a very concerning thing. Alright. So, no chance but to uh, go in there and... Uh, Okay, never mind. I think the uh, Minotaur just uh, killed itself. Let's see. So, it destroyed the uh, Stray Cat with uh, brutal proficiency. Then we have a couple of Silt Stones that didn't do anything. And then have a couple of misses of all those traps. It did dodge all of the weapon traps. Wow. So... I didn't expect that to happen. So... And... Actually, it was Nish. Actually, Nish just stabbed the thing in the head and, uh, and perforated its brain. Wow. You know, Nish, you are quite the hero. That is, uh... That is... Wow. That tempts me to, uh, to waste my metal. Okay. So, two things I do learn out of that. Or one, this does not work. This is just uh, not working out. For another thing... The burrow didn't work either. The miner, sh miner was not supposed to go there, but uh, still he did. So, hmm. Yeah, what to think about that? So, one thing is quite clear. My poor dwarvy friends here are now going to be working with a uh, more strict regimen, we are going to construct ourselves a bridge. And whenever we get attacked, we just have to use that thing. Melville is the new mayor. Oh. From tavern keeper in Sandwalls to the mayor of Rockhold. That's quite the career. <laughs> I like that. So we have a siltstone crown, but all in all, there's not much specials uh, about it. So we don't have much room to work with. Therefore, I'm going to go and add in the jewelers to this area here. It, uh, it's not exactly what I want to do, but uh, sometimes you just have to pay a price to the situation that is at hand. So, the mayor. I think the mayor deserves a place in the old expeditionary quarter. I find that very fitting to have the mayor's quarters here, as this is the OG foundation of the city. Therefore, Melbill's new home will be here, even though I think somebody else has to take over the tavern now. As I don't seem, I don't feel like it is uh, okay for the mayor to be now the, uh, you see, you surely understand. So instead, we're going to bring in, well, Coddle, the bomber. So Coddle, we're going to check you out in the next episode. 
and let's see. I also wanted to create a dining hall, so let's continue with that. You know, daily goals. <laughs> Want to fulfill them. So, with the dining hall, we're going to go for a room like this. And probably we're going to leave a bit like that open. Yeah, maybe like that. Or wait a sec. Now it's even. So, there we go. Here, the same procedure as before. We lay down the flooring first, and then we dig out the rest to lay down the walls. There we go. Giant Chaos are fighting. Um, Id is in danger. We need to, uh, we need to make sure that he's going to get some help here. So, let's make sure that Nish is around. So, Nish stabbed the K up proficiently. Yeah, you know, our, our manager is not in a good shape right now. So, what are you actually doing out here? So, he is uh, mangled and cut and, uh, oh boy. We need a hospital. We really do need a hospital. Super badly. Alright, so, uh, it begins. The, the giant chaos are upon us. These are the, the worst type of chaos, as they are just... Quite deadly. I cannot summarize it differently. These things, I mean, look at them. They're, uh, they're like the name implies. Giant. They're gone. Our mock protect us. So, one little trick that you can do with these creatures is, um, you, you locate them. Then you scroll all the way back downstairs where where that frickin' bird is residing, and then you put down somebody who's capable to kill it. With some luck, stupid Kea comes down and wants to fight. There we go. Sadly, these uh, creatures are currently not hostile. They are not agitated, so we do need to wait until they attack. This is by far the worst situation to be in. As you see there, this thing here is uh, sitting so high up the, above the ground that uh, it's really hard to protect your people accordingly. So, Nish's got a pretty hard day today. Well, okay, let's see how this will play out now that a few of them are dead. All right. So, ooh, I think Nish got another one. Nish must withdraw. I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. So there's only two more giant chaos uh, around, and I'm somewhat positive that we're going to be able to deal with that. We are also going to set up a lever here. Let's do that in here. Okay. That's, uh, I hate chaos, okay? Giant chaos make the matter, make everything much, much worse. So to get ourselves a proper hospital, we, we do need a uh, fresh water source but uh, one thing at a time. So that's that, and now let's consider the location of the hospital. Definitely considering the area down here. More people arrive. 
Rockhold is growing so darn fast. It's uh, it's filling me with pride and joy to see that our, our city is growing so fast. But at the same time, I'm really worried about the, the things that are up ahead of us. So let's make a couple of tra traction benches and uh, some cloth rope so we get ourselves some chain. I really need to kickstart the clothing production soon. Ah, uh, we struck gemstone down here. Great. At least finally some good news. So, turns out the remaining 2k I got slaughtered by the traders. Good job, friends. So, I want to see whether or not Dob has some good trade to make here, but uh, just like I expected, the human brought mostly... We are well off when it comes down to food ourselves. Many thanks. Alright, so... yeah. I figured that this area here will be our new hospital. Yeah, let's use the schist. And we're also going to set up small treatment chambers. I still don't know if this world has like a lycanthropy or not, but uh, I don't want to risk anything. So I didn't check out the new um, fling of uh, immigrants. There was nobody from the old um, main cast, though. That's the one thing that I meant to check out. But uh, yeah, for the time being, I'm quite happy with uh, where we're at. The only thing really bothering me as of lately is the fact that our... Um, our city is growing in terms of spatial expansion, not as fast as we are growing in terms of population. That's uh, really a bit of an issue for me, but well, it is what it is. I don't think it'll be that much of a big deal for us. So... And dining hall number two. There we go. So, let's see, how are we going to construct that? I considered a very, very simple setup. Let's do it like that. So, we got a very simple thing. Beds. Tables. And where needed traction benches. I'm not going to fill every room up with traction benches as this is not necessarily uh, needed. But uh, yeah, there goes our new hospital. Elk birds. Is that thing ever dying, I wonder? I mean, this forgotten beast is slaughtering so many creatures down there. This is one mighty beast. 75 creatures by now. Whoa. So many things live down there. That's the uh, most disturbing part about it. For me. Alright. So far, so good. I want to do one more thing here. This one has to be connected immediately, so... Can avoid a situation like that. And we possibly do need the same sort of uh, construction here again. To make sure that we can also seal off the city entirely if necessary. This is not the finalized version of my defense system. I'm not that happy with it as it is right now. It is, though, what we can 
properly do. Sometimes you just have to work with what you got, not what you want. All right. Don't want to delete that part. And another forgotten beast comes in form of a large scaly bristle worm, thin wings and, and a poisonous bite. So are you living in one's realm? Then we're going to... Uno Gilumbras, the abysses of paddling. Didn't paddle anybody so far, but uh, I'm, I'm somewhat convinced that there will be a battle of the titans anytime uh, soon. This thing looks way more badass than his uh, competitor. Anyways, my good friends, it is sadly time to find an end for today. I hope you enjoyed today's run as much as I did. I mean, we've had quite some exciting things happening. I hope the hospital will come together quite nicely. But I think all we need is a well, and that's something we are going to construct in the uh, upcoming episodes. I just haven't uh, thought about it yet, uh, where and how and uh, such, but we'll be getting there. That all being said, thanks for being around, and thanks for watching this video. Drop me your comments down below, I'm more than happy to hear back from you, and a thumbs up would be appreciated to show the algorithm that you liked it, and it can safely recommend it to other people. And of course, subscriptions. I love subscriptions. Check out the description box as well, you can find so much more Dwarf Fortress there. The Savage Land Saga with five forts in total. You also can go for my Twitter, uh, not Twitter, Twitch. I always keep messing up these Twitch, I want to say. My Twitch and my Discord, and also check out Patreon, Paypal, and buy me a coffee, or my channel membership system. Either way, I appreciate you being around. Next episode, we're going to set up that hospital. See you there.